boy. Seventeen. Let me stop. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Let's sit your pretty ass. No, let me stop. Them were the good days. Yeah. <laughs> ah, let me stop. But anyways, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy OG Team Man. And today we got my boy, <clears throat> the rap guy. Um, Fetty, remember Fetty Wap? Now he's, I didn't even know. I, I heard him make that um, damn song. Can I get to the hills? Sweet yes. Show me the way. Cause I got bills to pay. I remember that. That shit was it. But after that, I don't know where he went. So, anyways, hopefully I can get some backstory on it. But without that being said, Let's go ahead and get to the video. In 2015, Fetty Wap was one of the mm -hmm. biggest artists in the world. The hey. song Trap Queen was a mega hit. He was on tour with Post Malone, performing on stage with Taylor Swift. But today, Fetty Wap is sitting in federal prison after he... Oh my Jesus, who the hell is that? That is not Fetty Wap. That is Fetty What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Just because you got one eye missing don't mean that you are the... Seventeen, yeah, 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 yeah. Not him. Who the fuck is that? That is not Fetty. The biggest mistake of his life. How do you go from being one of the biggest <clears throat> artists in the world to the biggest name in prison? Well, yeah. it all started with Fetty Wap making more money than he could dream of. Cause following the success of Trap Queen, he dropped two more massive hits, Six, Seven, Nine, and My Way, both selling millions of records. He was headlining shows, doing dozens of features. I mean, I just listen to how much money he had in the bank. How much the most you saw like in your account? You were like, what the? F the most I saw in my account? Yeah, just 22. in me. Huh? Twenty-two. Like twenty-two. Yeah. Like twenty-two million. Yeah. Holy sh this man had 22 million in the bank. He could have set his family up for generations. Could. So, what happened to all that money? Well, as a kid who grew up in the hood of New Jersey with nothing, as mm -hmm. soon as he got some money, he wanted to spend it. I did like 2.5 million in Jersey. Wow. 37 cars. Damn. 10 houses, 14 apartments. It was bad. I was doing like almost $200,000 a month in just bills. God Apartments, damn. houses, cars, jewelry, 200000 a month in bills. Oh, and that's not including the six kids he has with five different women. It's like the man was trying to see how much money he could spend. And in 2018, he found out you can spend it all. See, Fetty had just landed in California. It was his daughter's birthday weekend, and he had it straight to the bank, looking to take out $100,000 so they could Damn. go celebrate. But as he tried to take the money out, he saw something that he had never seen before. Mm. It was like, uh, a hole. Like, what that mean? <laughs> so you try to take money out, and they're like, oh, no, there's a hole on it. Fetty yeah. Wap had no idea he was behind on his bills. How the fuck you don't know that you behind on bills? That shit is wild to me. That's the main thing you're supposed to be keeping up with. Why that shit don't make no sense? What the fuck? And don't mind the sound, y'all. This bitch ass nigga just walking here and put his clothes in the washing machine or so. Banks froze everything. Now at this point, that he wasn't really putting out music. He dropped some mixtapes, but those were free. He was really just living off of the massive success he had early in his career. So with the money drying up, it was time to get back in the studio, make another hit. But it turns out there was something dark going on behind the scenes. See, when you look at Fetty Wap's career, you see an album in 2015 that sold millions of copies and had multiple hits. Then nothing but free mixtapes until 2021. Why? Well, when you sign your first record deal with a hometown friend, a lot of bad stuff can happen. And while Fetty was on the come up in New Jersey, he was being put on by a guy named Nick DeGritt, who would pay for his studio sessions and help promote his stuff. And as Trap Queen started to take off, Fetty signed to his label, RGF Productions. A decision that would impact Fetty's career to this day. Cause Nick DeGritt had no clue what he was doing. I don't know, I'm fresh out the hood. I don't, <laughs> like, I'm trying to figure it out. Do you have a lawyer or do you have someone kind of guiding you? Again, it, it seemed like you a hood in this, this Right, point. You right. a hood Right. And not only did he have no clue what he was doing, but he completely lost control of Fetty Wap. Nick couldn't get him to do interviews, show up to celebrity events, save his money, nothing. When that fame and money and hoes came and all that, it just was like, I seen that shit in 2014. Like, it's like, 
You saw that fame, fame. Yes. And all this tension on the business side led to issues on the personal side, with Betty claiming that Nett wouldn't clear records or let him put on music. At one point, everything was just whatever. And then the next thing you know, it was like, no, 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 no. Like, now, to be honest, we're just scratching the surface on all the issues that were going on behind the scenes. Mm. But I think you can tell it was a mess. So when the pressure came, the money was gone, Betty had to make music. He couldn't find the motivation. The business side killed his passion. And he actually started to hate making music. So, with his accounts frozen and feeling like music wasn't an option, Betty decided to take up a new line of work. But little did he know this would be the biggest mistake of his life. Betty, you were selling that shit, Betty! Betty! Let me hold some. No, I'm just playing. Damn. See? That's why I need to learn how to save and invest. I'm glad that shit was not planned. What the hell my mouth is? In early 2019, Betty Wap and a group of five other individuals came up with a plan to make millions. Basically, they would purchase a certain product on the West Coast where they had drivers who would deliver it to the East Coast and vehicles with secret compartments. They would also switch up the strategy to try to remain undetected, sometimes shipping product to planes or through the mail. Once the goods got to the East Coast, it was all divvied up and sent out across New Jersey and the tri-state area. And mm. I'm not talking about a little bit, all right? These guys were moving $2 million worth of product every God. single week. Damn. And they did this all throughout 2019 bringing in millions and millions of dollars. But the entire time that he was building I'm doing this a empire, fucking video. That's what I'm watching. See, in May How the fuck I'm gonna pause my video? Nah, I'm, I'm on the phone with my little shorty. And she trying, to, she trying to argue me down, bro. About what? That her ex boyfriend not gay and he don't look gay. Look at this shit, bro. Look how he look. I got it, babe. Don't move. Uh, don't move. I got it. I got the kid, bro. Let this shit clear up. Zoom in some, baby. Zoom in some. You see? Yeah, yeah this shit gotta clear up, cuz. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I know it. Come on. Nah, that nigga more than gay. <laughs> <laughs> you know that nigga more than gay. That's three gay. That's a perfect My bad, y'all. This <laughs> is <just> funny. <laughs> Oh, my bad. This, this might be some new shit for y'all. My bad, my bad though. 19. Local police and the DEA launched a secret investigation into Fetty's crew. Now, mm. what tipped the feds off is unknown. But regardless, from this point, the feds had their eyes and ears on everything Fetty and his crew were doing. From filming meetups, <coughs> tracking shipments, even getting a court-ordered wiretap so they could listen mm. in on their conversations. Every move they made, every word they said, was being tracked, and it didn't take long for everything to come crashing down. On June 27, 2020, mm. federal agents executed search warrants at six different locations across New Jersey, all connected to Fetty's crew, and they found everything they needed. And following the search, Fetty's entire crew was arrested, being hit with charges that had them God. facing life Damn. in federal prison. But there was one person who didn't get arrested, Fetty Wap. In fact, he was free for all of 2020. And in 2021, he even started making music again, finally dropping his second album, The Butterfly Effect, on October 22nd. And he was even booked to perform at Rolling Loud the weekend after that. It seemed like things were actually turning around for Fetty. But as he was set to take the stage at Rolling Loud, the Feds finally came knocking. Well, now to a developing story. Rapper Fetty Wap under arrest on federal drug charges. He was arrested yesterday at City Field. He's one of six indicted for conspiracy to distribute more than 100 kilograms of controlled substances. Sources tell Pix11 News the rapper was also dealing drugs from the parking lot at the festival. The defense attorney mm. said that her client is innocent and that this is all just a misunderstanding. She's looking forward to clearing it all up soon. 
that Iwap is officially charged and was facing life in federal prison. Mm -hmm. Following this arrest, Fetty would only spend a week in jail before posting a $500,000 bail, where he would have to wear an ankle monitor along with other restrictions. Now, you'd think being out on bail would be a good thing. You could go back to making music and keep money coming in. I mean, he was able to do stuff like the DJ Academics interview that I've been showing all video while he was out on bail. But it turns out, being out on bail was the worst thing that could have happened because it gave him the opportunity to keep incriminating himself. Inflation sucks, so why not? Look at you. Thought you were gonna be a changed nigga. No, no, no. See, Wait a minute. in order for the feds so. to build this case, Stop. they had to have informants. People that were feeding them information and snitching. And mm -hmm. Fetty knew this. I'm on a flag, racist, man. Now, man, we doing this. 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 In fact, he felt like he knew exactly who was snitching. So in December 2021, while out on bail for only a month, Fetty decided to FaceTime an unnamed individual and allegedly threatened them if they snitched. And of course, the informant was filming the entire thing and sent it straight to the feds. Surprisingly though, it took a while for the feds to do anything about it, and Fetty would remain free for months. But in August 2022, Fetty was arrested once again, had his bail revoked for making that alleged FaceTime threat. And this time, there was no getting out. God damn. The feds had everything they needed to put Fetty away for Look a life. They had witnesses, physical evidence, wiretapped conversations, front to back. Every angle was covered. And Fetty Wap knew he was screwed. I mean, if he took this case to trial and lost, he'd be sentenced to life in prison. Everything mm. he worked for would be gone. All the people depending on him would have no one. So, with his back against the wall, Fetty had no choice but to take a deal, pleading guilty to a single federal charge, having all of his other charges dropped, and completely avoiding trial. And in March 2023, he was officially sentenced to six years in federal prison. Yeah, when you compare that to life in prison, he got a pretty big break. And since being locked up, Fetty did an interview from prison where he talked about why he did everything he did, saying, I don't really be blaming nobody for nothing. It ain't nobody else's fault that I'm here. It was like, all right, the music wasn't really doing that good, but nobody's paying attention. So I'm like, man, f it. I'm gonna go back to what I know how to do instead of pursuing my career harder. Man, I kind of was a coward. Anybody that really pays attention to me, man, choose a different life. Cause this is whack. I hate being here. I hate being away from my children. I like to drive. I like to enjoy myself. If you got the right way to do it, choose the right way. Cause the wrong way, you never know what could happen. Preacher fucking Fetty. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Damn. 1.5 million cash? Hell of. You know what? He was dealing 2.1 mil. They was pushing per week. I don't think y'all understand that. 2.1 mil per week. Do you know? Do you know what I can do with 2.1 2.1 mil per week, nigga? I'm investing. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Do the right thing. Don't don't listen to me. I'm just bullshitting. Anyways, thank you, rap guy. Appreciate you for this. Let's see. My whole thing is, what do you need to have 37 cars and 14 apartments for? Them? I, that's the thing. I I don't even know. Unless you, all them shits is like you go, like you using them for like a business, like the apartments and shit for a, a little apartment place. The house is, is for, you know, real estate. The cars is for them little, um, them little valley shits, uh, the little, you can finance them in have people drive it i don't know why the fuck you would need all that just to yourself not gonna lie i love it. ready boys yeah 1738 i remember that at school but what sad is he had no true friends around him real hey you truth and guide you the right one hey that's true now nah, fatty was 2015 ironic way Blow it off. The fuck you need 37? <laughs> they on his ass about these 37 cars. But anyways, it's your boy OGT name. Signing out.